In response to many requests, um, I'm doing this video which relates to woodland hunting because it's slightly different from hunting in open ground. As most people who watch my videos know, I generally use the .17 HMR rifle as most of the shooting that I do is in fairly rolling hillside um, where noise is not really too much of an issue. But in woodland, I tend to use this. It's a Ruger 1022 22 caliber rifle. It has a 10 shot rotary magazine which fits nice and snugly under there so you're not going to catch it on your hand. When you're leaning on walls you're not going to catch it on a wall or on a fence or anything like that. I actually purchased a thumb hole stock. You don't need a thumb hole stock but it just makes it nice and comfortable, easy to move around. The scope that I use is a Simmons 3.5 to 10 by 50 Whitetail Classic. To be honest, pr practically any scope will do. Um, this is nice and clear. It's never let me down, so I continue to use it. The thing on the top here is actually a fitting to put a lamp on, which I would use if I was lamping in open ground. I tend to use this rifle because it is a heck of a lot quieter than the 170 HMR. Even with a good silencer on, the HMR is really noisy compared to the 2.2. I'll fire a round off now so you can see how quiet this is. Obviously the camera's at the business end of that so you'll have heard a noise but imagine being 20-30 yards away there's not much noise at all. In a woodland scenario, the two most important things are concealment, i.e. reasonable camouflage, there's numerous different types, ideally trousers and jacket. I've only got the jacket on today because I'm not shooting, I'm only shooting a video. And also stealth. Um, it is a bit of an art form moving silently through woodland, but there's some things to consider to make it easier. The type of clothing that you wear is very important if you want to move stealthily through wood. Waterproofs are great, but if you're moving backwards and forwards, there's branches scraping against them that do tend to make a very plasticky sort of a sound. I tend to use just ordinary cotton, as it doesn't make such a noise if you're moving through heavy scrub. When you're walking, try and avoid leaves, if you can. There's a path in front of me here, which has got a good amount of leaves on. Therefore, you want to be walking right along the edge of it, as opposed to in the middle where all the leaves are. See, that was silent-ish. Now watch when I walk on the leaves. And that was actually trying to be quiet walking on the leaves, lifting my feet, putting them down very carefully. Watch what happens when you don't bother lifting your feet and you just drag them. You get enough noise from that to wake the dead. Staying off the skyline is very important as well. I'm going to approach the camera from up behind me there. First time I'll just come straight over the skyline. I'll be as quiet as I possibly can. Um, see how easy I am to spot. Next time I'll use the trees to my left and I'll try and stay off the skyline.
that was using the skyline, i.e. not using any cover. And that was trying to stay off the skyline. You can use the trees to conceal yourself by putting the tree in front of you and your target, creep up behind the tree, come round the side of the tree, lean on the side of the tree and then take your shot. When you're taking the shot resting on a tree you don't actually want the gun to be touching the tree. You want your hand between the gun and the tree. Otherwise, when the shot's fired, the gun might pull away. See how my hand is between the gun and the tree. Same with this one. Some people might just say, what's the point in going in a wood? All the rabbits are out feeding in the field. But if there's a lot of rabbit sets in the wood, that's actually where the rabbits are living. That's where they're gonna to try to get to when they're scared. If you are in the wood between the rabbit and their set, you'll find that a lot of them will just clap down on the ground and wait to be shot. Whereas if you're in the field, you may get a shot at one or two before they run back into the wood. If you're in a wood firing out into a field, there's often something to lean on because generally woods are surrounded by either a wall or a fence. So that makes for a nice steady shot. If there's a pigeon, squirrel, crow up in a tree and you want to take a shot at it, remember that when you look through the scope, even if the crosshairs are actually on the target, there may be a branch in front of the bullet's trajectory. Just because you can see a clear shot doesn't mean to say that there is. If you notice on your gun, the scope is at least, at least an inch and a half above where the bullet actually comes out. Obviously when you look through it, you're looking straight. The bullet comes out reasonably straight. You've got your sights set for 40, 50 yards or something. They're set at the point that the bullet and what you see cross. Any time before that, and your scope is actually looking higher than where your bullet is traveling. When you're in a wood, the same safety rules apply than if you're out in the field. Um, you've always got to ensure that there's a decent backstop even when you're firing up into a tree, ideally you want a branch or heavy cover behind the target that you're actually shooting. So on the off chance that you miss the target, the bullet hits whatever's behind the target, fragments and becomes harmless. If you can lie down in a woodland or really shooting anywhere, then that's great. You've got a lot of your body in contact with the ground. That's gonna make you a lot steadier. In woodland, the ground tends to be soft so you can dig your elbows in and get a really steady, accurate shot. Once you've taken your shot, don't be tempted to stand up and run after whatever it is you've just shot. Just sit quiet for a few seconds. The chances are that there's other things that you might want to shoot will show themselves in the tree or on the ground and you'll be able to get another shot. Even if the animal you've shot is wounded and hasn't dropped straight away, don't run after it straight away. If it realises you're after it, it'll keep running. Pursue it calmly. Obviously this video hasn't covered the art of sitting in a tree and 
chucking bait down, waiting for pigs and all that to come because I prefer actually hunting things, not waiting for them to come to me, going out, finding them and shooting them. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If there's anything you think I've missed, and there's probably loads that I've missed, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make another video covering the bits that I've missed.